Alright guys, what's going on? So I've got a lot of interest and a lot of questions about our Murphy bed. Um, I did a lot of research looking into a lot of the parts and um, on the actual Murphy bed site, their springs and um, hinges and latches are all really expensive. Um, the kit's like $300 and it doesn't include any part of the bed, it's just the hinges. So I just went to Home Depot, bought a nice sheet of plywood. Um, not the cheapest, not the most expensive. And then I went into the hinge aisle and I found some of these longer decorative hinges. Um, they look cool and because they're longer and I can put four screws in up tall, I feel like it gives it more support because when you fold the bed up, um, all the blankets and stuff do kind of push against the hinges. So you wouldn't want little tiny hinges down here like these. You definitely want some bigger hinges. Um, and I did obviously three, one for the sides and one for the middle, just to get good support. And then we did these little folding locking legs. These all were totally temporary, but as they've been in here for like nine months, they're, they're the permanent ones. <laughs> but um, I put these uh, locking hinges on my Amazon affiliate page. So you guys will be able to find these. They work great. We use them for our uh, coffee table up front also. It was a little four pack, fold down nice and easy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you our two latches that hold the bed in place. There's one on either side. This one I had to make it higher um, and I used some self-tapping screws to go right into the metal of the bus. And then over on this side, I couldn't do it in the same spot because the window, so I had to go low and I hooked it into my wall. Flips up, flip this one up, and this is the only difference between my version of the Murphy bed and then if you'd buy the whole Murphy bed kit, is there would be a spring that would help you lower this down, but with a single mattress, it's really not very heavy, and we have just enough room to kind of shuffle by here. And this is one of the things, the design things I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, because at first, I didn't know, I didn't understand that. But with our bed, I can't put a, a top here to frame the bed all the way in because when the bed slides up, we actually pull it down a little bit and you can see it slides up and through. So if I tried to cap that off, it would never be able to fold up. And when I fold it down, I have to slide the bed backwards to take up that space and then I'm nice and flush here with my bed and that's in position and then fold it up just fold it out and that's it and to figure out our distance here what Healy and I did is we just put the mattress up against the wall with our bedding on it um, we don't have a ton of pillows um, so we didn't need to slide this out too far and we have a full so if we had a king or a queen it would be thicker so I would have to have this further away from the wall so easiest way that you can figure out your distance is put your mattress up there put your plywood against it and then hold your hinges down here and just make your marks and that's it and then you make yourself a nice Murphy bed I wanted to add this just as a little bit of an insert because we built our Murphy bed inside of a tiny home which is inside of a school bus so this is actually built up on this box only because there's a fender well underneath so <laughs> the paint kind of made it stick so this is our fender well for our rear tire so what I did is put a little bit of storage above it and a drawer over here and that's why our Murphy bed is raised up off the ground but if you wanted to you wouldn't need the legs or this box you can build it straight onto the ground and it would fold flat onto the ground and fold up out of the way um, however you want to make it it's up to you with the legs it's nice because when we want to hide some stuff we slide it under our bed just like when mom used to tell us to clean our room um, and that's awesome but I just wanted to make that um, clear. So if you're wondering about this, it's just here because it has to be. Um, and that's it, you guys. So take care.